Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 44 of the Steak and Eggs podcast. I'm Emmy, and I'm here with Asmin and Techie as usual. And we also have special guests, Will and Hassan from LA. Ooh. Super excited to have both of them here. And Will just joined OTK. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Welcome. Wow. We are experiencing Our a weird member. phenomenon where we are recording this on the 28th. Yeah. But this will be released in the future. So, like, it didn't actually happen. No, we so have to I, talk as yeah. if it did. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. like, we are going to act exciting, like, are excited, like, everything <laughs> oh, went yeah. well, but this. Disastrous things could happen. Oh no! This, yeah. this episode is not going to go live. <laughs> oh no! Two weeks yeah, yeah, for yeah. disaster. Yeah, I was going to. I was going to fake it like I just like tra- time traveled here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was gonna fake it like I'm, I'm like in Los Angeles. They're going to be like, "How the fuck did you go to Texas on yeah. the day of?" I, I'm worried because the video we shot is a parody of Ari Aster. Have you ever heard of Ari Aster? Ari Aster. Yeah. What, what is that? Okay, he's a director who made the film Hereditary and like hmm. Midsummer. Oh, Midsummer. And, um, yeah. It's like very intense. I've never psychological was... horror. Okay, and so we made that. Why? <laughs> because uh, none, none of us have seen it yet at this point. Yeah. I'm good. a person who likes to break boundaries. I'm a person who like. I, so for my announcement video, my 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 goal is that my like hardcore fan base will be like, yes, I get the reference. Exactly. This is yeah. awesome. But everybody else will watch it and go, "What the fuck?" <laughs> to a level, to a level that other people have to watch it and go, "What the fuck?" Kind of yeah. like a two girl one cup phenomenon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? where it's like okay, there's every- no artistic quality to two girl one cup. Well, it depends on the you ask. No, but I, I, I just I like that kind of like, <laughs> like you have to watch it because it's a train wreck. Um, Sierra and I went out with like two two man film crew and filmed for two days at like a. Ex Machina style Dude, that's awesome. house in the woods. The house is insane, which you guys have already seen, obviously, because we're in the future. So, like, what um, was it like? I wasn't even there. Um, it was awesome, but it was also scary. It's yeah. I, the way I'll describe it is, uh, I took an Uber out to the to the boonies. Yeah, it's, it's kind of far off, but everything is far off for me. I'm in Texas. I, I don't, I'm not familiar with the lay of land, and um, we get to this like dirt path that's like diverging or like barely concrete road that's diverging and uh, we had no idea and we just saw like from a distance two dudes holding hands and a stalk of corn Walking up, so it's like the start of a movie, <laughs> and it, 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 yeah. was, it was Sierra and I. <laughs> you didn't even realize that because they were dressed up. The Uber driver yeah. must have been so fucking scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him, <laughs> no, about face. I told the Uber driver to pull back and go up to the other. I was like, oh, this must be the wrong road. Please yeah. pull back, like, and he kicked it in reverse <laughs> and went up to the other road. And he's like, what are you guys doing? I'm like, what the fuck? It's Will. Yeah. yeah. And then we walk into this house in the distance. You can see it. Um, yeah, there it is. It is like the pictures wow. don't do it justice. It is beautiful. Uh, it's right on top of a creek, and it's like there's always wa- like the water is like yeah. you hear the the raft, I guess, or what is it called? Mm-hmm. Uh, the rapids. The rapids. Yeah. There's there's one thing I want to show you guys. I'll tell you guys a funny story. So we were already kind of scary scared of the house, right? Because it was just so cold <laughs> and isolated. Um, Jay, would you pull up the picture of me with the white contact lenses in? Um, oh, this sounds sick. So we, that was the first time I wore contact lenses. And Did we you talked put them about in, contact. in your cell, no. sir? Finn had to like stab oh, them Oh, yeah. I did, I did the same thing <laughs> yesterday. Dude. So, so That's those crazy. white lenses, you're blind when you're wearing them. Yeah, I've, I've worn those before. anything. Yeah. So for this shot, we wanted to go <laughs> down to the rapids, which we had to like walk through the woods to get down to them. So we're already scared. Seer passes out because we've been drinking while we're shooting. Mm -hmm. So it's just Finn and I and Jay. And I'm like, Finn, you have to walk me down. And he's like, great. It's torrential downpour. It's freezing. I'm in this creek. And he had to go leave me down there to go adjust the lights. So I was in this creek by myself for like 20 minutes. (laughs) Next day, we went down to go get a flashlight we left down there. And we found by the river all this Wiccan stuff. We didn't even tell you. What the fuck? Like mixing bowls, deer skulls. If you had told me that, I would have left immediately. Like like husk dolls. And I was like, oh my god, I was down here by myself (laughs) last night for like 20 minutes. In All I had on was a pair of underpants and see Here's Crocs, which are two sizes too small. Yeah. <laughs> I do look like a man baby. 
Dude, I think they would have been more scared of you. They were like, oh, we finally summoned one. Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't know what it is, but we summoned it. It fucking worked. I knew yeah. it. Beelzebub? Yeah. Is that you? Dude. You're whiter than I thought you'd be. I mean, it's just, it is a very weird house. Yeah. It's a very weird house. Where oh, it's uh, one of those sterile. The the I do, I do a little, the cleaning yeah. lady. Yeah, uh, I do. I do a video. little cameo in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why I came down here. Literally oh. did to <laughs> do a cameo in Will's uh, Will's friendship too. Fifteen yeah. minute, <laughs> fifteen minute art art house uh, art house. A good friend. Yeah. It's it is very a twenty four for sure. It, it is so yeah. well shot. I mean, Finn shot the shit out of this. Oh my lord! I can't wait to see this. There are, I mean, it, it was incredibly impressive. Incredibly impressive and uh, maybe a little bit, maybe a bit much, but. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But, but I think that, bit. that will, there I am. Oh my God. God. Oh, 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 dude, yeah. you have. Oh God. I mean, well, the, the videos come out already at yeah. this point. So yeah, the, the squib. Uh, oh yeah, we. Talk about so the squib. We, that's it. What the fuck? So kill him? I kill, well, I shoot Sear. Yeah. Okay. Where, where's the inspiration this come from? Um, the inspiration for this came from a movie called The Invitation, yeah. but also like Hereditary. And I also do the, have you seen the Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix? Yep. I do the Amazing. full dance from that. Oh, yes. fuck yes. yeah, dude. Yes. On the stairs? So no, not the stairs one. The one where he's in the bathroom and he's all bloody after he's gotten beat oh, up. Oh, okay. I, I just kind of, I, I think that my first announcement video, I, I really wanted to like lean into my 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 film kind of knowledge and I love to do parody. And my first one was, you know, an action movie and it, it, I loved it. It was great. But I wanted to kind of outdo that in terms of production and to go in a different direction. So for me, another film genre that's so ripe for parody is A24. A24, if you know anything about it, is like dominating uh, in terms of, of like um, independent films. Well, not independent films, but like lower budget films and their impact in the movie theater. So like, Hereditary, um, Civil War is coming out. Uh, I'm trying Midsommar, to think. Midsummer, Midsummer, um, Lamb. What are some other men? They've had like they've had like twenty of the hundred biggest films over yeah. the last few years. And so, what is okay. A24? What A24 does that mean? A24 is a uh, production studio that and makes, distributor, right? And distributor that makes films like this. They're like very, okay, yeah, they make TV shows and animation. They, I get it. They yeah. basically like if Blumhouse is like carrying the horror genre a little bit on in a similar vein, right? Like yeah. A24 across the board is like everyone that likes. Everyone that calls movies film uh -huh. or cinema right. will say like, okay. we'll say I went to the Nickelodeon today. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll say that A24 <laughs> is like carrying the, the entire industry yeah. currently because it's all like either MCU style cape yeah. shit that's like blockbuster, yeah. constantly rinse and repeat IP recycling or you have yeah. You know, the A24. I, I just felt like no one had done a parody of any of those mm -hmm. films. So I, you guys don't even know the plot, but the plot of this movie is Sear at the OTK shareholders meeting pitches OTK Ohio, um, where you guys will all move to Ohio. Yeah. And you are like kind of um, pushing this idea along like, yeah, great, this is great. And Sear thinks that he has become exorbitantly wealthy because of the big corn lobby Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in, in the state. And so he's living in this mansion and I'm there to try and wake him from this, this delusion because OTK is just a drug front. And we have all these shots of like people packing Fuck. bags of cocaine <laughs> yeah. in the Starforge PCs. Sure. And oh yeah, I think that's what we're filming no. tomorrow. Yeah. Oh my we God. also have all these very weird clips of like the real world instances that like Chance has been like, I do coke, I sell coke, <laughs> this is not a joke. Yeah. Or when like Extra Emily is accused of cooking crack on the sidewalk, yeah, yeah. we're going to put those all into a dream sequence. You have me cranking my shit too, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and it's, it's going to, the, the message is going to be like, Sierra, how did you not know that OTK <laughs> is just a front for drugs? That's so good. But, so yeah, it's, it's, I, I thought it was a really fun and, and like, um, um, well done parody and we'll see how it turns out but <laughs> it leads into my next uh, question which is what made Will join the org that I yeah. think that OTK is still at a size where it's people and not a company and I think when it's still people you are allowed to do weird and fun things like talk to a PC company and be like hey this is a really great product placement bit but we do have to 
hack cocaine into your computer. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I don't know if like <laughs> Intel is taking that call. You know what I mean? So I I, I, yeah. I, I, I fucking love that ability to be lean and make fun and exciting things with people that maybe on a like larger corporate level, people would immediately be like, Will, that's, you're fucking weird. Don't yep. do that. So. Oh, I think that's the best thing about it, right? It's the best yeah. thing about streaming in general, right? Is you don't have to worry about like a bunch of like ratings. Like, yeah, you've got rules, but like for the most part, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. And like, that's what's exciting about it is like, you don't have the same uh, gatekeepers. Yep. Yeah. yeah so, and, and we have a shit ton of capital too on top of that. That's a good So part. it's always fun to just like yeah. be able to do cool things with that that improve what you're doing both on the streaming and off. Hassan had a good time when he came I had a in. great yeah. time. I had a really? great time in, in Texas. It was, uh, I think I had a better time this time than even Shikhan. Even though Shikhan was like phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because, simply because I did not stay where everybody is. It really <laughs> improves it, doesn't uh -huh. it? Yeah. It, 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 yeah. Well, the only reason why I say that is because, you know, I, obviously I, I was actually planning on staying with uh, Nick and Milena, but they weren't here, yeah, right? Yeah. So um, I stayed downtown and I feel like I, I need that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need that because like when I was staying uh, at, at uh, Soda's house yeah. uh, for ShitCon, like I felt like there was always a 45 minute trip. Yep. Yeah, and yep. and I'm that almost like a Bermuda sucks. Triangle yeah. so bad, too. Dude. Yeah, you're like impossibly everything's yeah. 45 yeah. minutes. Like you're like, how is that? We just yeah. drove right. 45 so minutes. It's yeah. so how big. is that 45? <laughs> yeah. Texas is so big in every direction. You're going 45 minutes. Yeah, and like now when I'm uh, when I'm in downtown Austin, everything is 25 minutes, which is perfectly manageable. Yeah, I was like, that's perfect. That's great. Like other than uh, going to to uh, the the uh, Alvea Sanctuary, right. which is deep, which is that's like deep, which was cool in a different way though, because I I got out after the Alvea Sanctuary, I was like calling an Uber from this quick trip down yeah. twenty five minutes down the street from the Alvea Sanctuary. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, this is the nearest life out there oh my God. that wasn't like a suburb. Um, some guy comes in and like a in like a lifted. Uh, like Ford F two fifty, and he just like jumps off of it, and there's like, it was like a kind of a funny jump because he's like five seven, and yeah. this truck is just a behemoth, and he's got his own like obviously his own company's like uh merch on, he's like big dog drilling. I was like, that's right, <laughs> I'm playing <laughs> Texas dog. right now. Hell yeah. yeah, none of that, none of that libtard shit out here, brother. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's right, brother. Yeah, Hell I, wanted yeah. him, I wanted to dab him up like me too. You see his mustache? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I feel like Austin is like, I, I don't feel like Austin to me is like super, super different than LA. Like whenever I've been there, like it's like Austin is pretty, pretty much, yeah. it's, a, it's a liberal fucking place, right? Yeah, it's very but liberal. But like outside of that, even if you drive, like I remember I drove from like Austin over to Houston and it's like, I went three states over. Like yeah. what the fuck? Like it was like this tiny little Dairy Queen, this little city there. There's like maybe ten buildings, and everybody lives there. Like what the fuck? Yeah. is this? It's there's crazy. a lot of that. There's yeah. a lot of that. Like the cookie cutter buildings and the cookie cutter right. houses, and then like big ass churches everywhere. Yeah, and then and then mall complexes that were like designed. I feel like specifically to have like Applebee's in it. Yeah, but you Applebee's know. is kind of. I mean, I I like it. I you know. I'm a Chili's guy, brother. Boneless wings. Yeah. No, I'm a Chili's guy. Absolutely, bro. Is that Chili's Yeah, of course. Okay, because I I haven't seen one, so I thought that's why I brought rare as the Stradivarius, the Chili's. I I dude, I I I don't even know if I saw Applebee's, but I feel like Texas always is an Applebee's state. Yeah. But I I fuck with Chili's more. We we gotta talk about something that we were discussing on the way here. What? Whataburger. Yeah. Oh no. It sucks. No, it doesn't. It ain't all that. It sucks. What the fuck? Thank it's, you. It's, it's, it's crazy. Suck. Like when it I moved sucks. here. So this is the only time Thank it doesn't you. suck. At three in the morning when nothing else no, is No, it still sucks. That's, it tastes well, it more does. like, it tastes more like rancid oil then. Cause it's, uh, when I moved here, I was like, oh my God, you need to try Whataburger. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. It's no. so yes. Texas. It's so no. much better. Yes. And I was like, I tried it. I was like, I didn't, and we, okay. We are fat boys. Yeah. And we were told that we would have a wonderful experience. We ordered- Buy another fat boy. Yes. Nick. We ordered the entire oh, well, menu Nick on Nick loves stream. Whataburger is Nick's favorite. I, know. I didn't have the heart to tell him when we went there, like that it was just kind of mid. No, y'all ordered yeah. the wrong thing. There's no fucking way. There's no. It's so fucking good. Oh my god. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's what I'm saying. There are other now burger restaurants that I've had exclusive to Texas, yes. like P. Terry's. 
He tears his fire. He tears his fire. He tears his fire. He tears his fire. It's because of the fucking ketchup. The spicy ketchup there is fire. No, no, it's because they're so open good. late. That's yeah. the no, real reason. No, it's the spicy ketchup. Yeah. The fries are very good. The spicy patty or the spicy powder melt, and then also their breakfast is insane. The Stop. breakfast. Bre Stop. Whataburger breakfast is Stop. insane. You didn't have the bowl. The bowl. No. 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 The breakfast bowl and Whataburger is fucking fire. There's no way you. Bro, can he's like dropped the microphone. He's <laughs> like losing his mind. This actually makes me so angry because people shit on shit on Whataburger all the time. It's really fucking I good. Think, I think like in and out in comparison to like other chain establishments is like a cut above, but it's not as good as like the way the LA people present it. But Whataburger is like underwhelming in comparison yeah. to how much Texas rides for okay. it. Like, I mean, in and out I would say, is better than Whataburger. Yeah, I, agree. I don't think in and out is great. I yeah, don't think it's like shit. Shake Shack, Five Guys. I agree but with you. Yeah, it, it's good. It's, it's fine. okay. No. It's, it's good, better than Whataburger. But yeah. it's like, but like Whataburger is kind of bad. <laughs> it, it is. It's bad. It's like any time that I go to no, Whataburger, it's, it's because I have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make me angry, bro. It sounds yeah, like, yeah, the spicy the, ketchup, dude. No, you just no. don't understand, you know what bro. The ketchup? I went back, because I used to live in Canada for 10 years. Yeah. And I came from Texas. I would frequently order the spicy ketchup in bottles to that, my Canadian residents because I love it that ketchup. much. That's, that's fair. And also, in and out it's mid. The burgers are okay. The fries are the most I'm underwhelming not gonna, shit. I'm not going to ride for In-N-Out. Yeah. In-N-Out like has bad french yeah. fries. Oh, yeah. the french fries are so bad. Yeah, Shake, terrible. Shack, terrible. Shake Shack is the burger spot. It, I think that's so. the best yeah. place. I would take Pete Terry's. I'm a big Pete Terry guy. Pete Terry's is really good. Yeah, yeah. like sure. As far as, but like, Pete Terry's oh, is that a chain? Do you know who franchise yeah. Yeah. that it's I like did a, It's not a small know. chain. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. There is a restaurant that grew up like under us in LA that I don't even know if you know that it's franchise now. What? Dave's Hot? Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah. How many locations? You want to know Dave, why I know How that? many locations do you think Dave's Hot has? Right now, probably like fifty plus. It's more than that, even. A hundred and twenty. Okay, I have what a really funny fuck? story for you. What Are you is ready that? For this? Dave's Hot Chicken is a yeah. okay. Let me, oh, I know let me Dave's Hot Chicken. Back. Dave's Hot Chicken is a restaurant in They're Los really. Angeles that, when we first moved to Los yeah. Angeles ten years ago, had five locations in right. LA. No less. It was even less than that. I think it was like three. Really? Anyway, it yeah. was a place was that like down LA to, yeah. locals would be like, yo, Dave's Hot is one of the best chickens Line in the out the door it's like you go always. There. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, uh, it's like, it was one of those like famous yes. LA chicken spots. And now it yeah. is everywhere. Do you okay. want to know a controversial? Yeah. I've never actually leaked this before. Whoa. Story for okay. you guys yeah. on Dave's Hot Chicken. Sure. Years ago, I, I fucked the chicken. <laughs> no, so Dave's Hot Chicken is. I know the uh, the owners of Dave's okay. Hot Chicken. Uh, it's it's um, it's the dudes like that are friends with Mo. Bobby. Oh yeah, they own. They all like collectively own it, like a group of friends that yeah. have like pooled funds into it. I don't know what the ownership structure looks like now, but <laughs> kind of a lot like a couple years back. <laughs> yeah, couple years back because I love it so much. Right. I approached them really? and I said, look, man, I personally like have never invested in a business or anything like no. that. I don't even care about anything. I just love this chicken so much. No. And at the time, yeah. they were, they did not have 120 uh like right. locations. They had not even opened outside of Los Angeles yet. Right. Yeah. And my buddy was like, yeah, no, nah, dog. Like, we're not doing any any funding rounds right now, but I'll keep you in mind. And like, it was basically like a no, yeah. right? Yeah, they're a worried day, that you're going to unionize. The place. Yeah, probably <laughs> no, literally, probably a day later after I had that conversation with him, it was revealed that Drake had become a oh, financier. Wow. So that's oh, hard. So that's yeah. how made it afterwards. Yeah. And I was like, I, I literally texted him like. I'm looking for fucking financiers, yeah. bitch. What is this? Yeah, and it was just like I think at that point, like they had like elevated to a very different level. Yeah, well, it's and crazy because Dave's Hot Chicken started from the bottom. Yeah, now, and they're, now they're here, here. and by <laughs> bottom you mean yeah, a bunch of like rich trust fund kids. But <laughs> yeah, but it's damn good chicken, and I just loved it so much. I was also like, they're not homophobic, which I don't know yeah. if it helps or hurts the taste of the chicken. I don't oh, because of the other chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chick-fil-A yeah. yeah. about that. And I think so homophobia good. makes yeah. it better. Yes, yes, yeah. we we are in agreement on that, one hundred percent. I think they've been able to figure out how to make it without the homophobia. It's still crazy. pretty good. Maybe well, they it's just open on, on Sunday, right? <laughs> what? It's it open, open on. Yeah. That's crazy. That's huge. No, but that's the best thing about Chick-fil-A is the Sunday. Because then you what, miss what? it so fucking much. Because like, dude, like like they, by up, taking it away from you, it makes you want it. Exactly. You yeah. open up DoorDash on a Sunday and you don't see it, and you're like, 
Oh my god! Dude, no wonder he my plays gotcha games. Ruined. Jesus this is Christ! The lightning hot take guy. Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's crazy good. I, I don't. Go, I, let's go to KFC. Uh, I just KFC's always go to KFC. Ass, okay. I know it's ass. I know it's ass. But I've been <laughs> yeah. going there for thirty years. Yeah, I'm loyal. It's my that's ass. It. Yeah, it's my ass. <laughs> I know. It has some low key bangers like the mashed potatoes and gravy. The bowl. Oh yeah, the five dollar bowl. Holy shit! Yeah. The bowl is amazing. That's how I got yeah. fat as fuck. I, I will never be able to eat KFC ever again Why? after our because yeah, we did. Will Neff Doug Doug drive through challenge. We did the drive through challenge. Oh, that's fun. Which you guys like <laughs> cleaned on, I think, right? Didn't they win across the board? Like, yeah, the the Mizkif OTK team. That was, yeah, was stupid. Yeah, that, that wasn't us. Oh, bro, that shit was crazy. Five dollars. It, it so, bro it came so on the two on the good, left. Man. Yeah. I have fun. a new challenge I've been working on. What's that? <laughs> have you guys ever heard of Din Tai Fun? Is that like Mulu no. Gai Pad? Din Tai Fun is a uh, is a uh, uh, like I think it's a Taiwanese. Uh, Establishment that right. specializes so in soup dumplings. It's so oh, amazing. Good. I love soup dumplings. Okay. Yeah. Well, their menu is like endless. Yeah. It's like a diner menu. I'm, I'm calling it the Din Tai Fuck, where four people go <laughs> yeah. to Din Tai Fun and try and order and eat everything on the menu, minus the vegan. Dishes. Is there one here? I think there is one in Austin. Oh, fuck. Okay. If you oh, need a heavy hitter, bro, I can put away some fucking Everybody phone, says that. Yeah. Till, till you're 20 you see that menu? Yeah. That menu like, yeah. look, that looks look like the Quran, bro. Yeah. There's like this. Yeah, this guy, this yeah. guy came in like Muhammad, I'm hard Bruce Lee. Like, yo, let me at the food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's going to order food. extra food. Like, Restaurant like, six, he was like seeing Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh! Yeah, yeah, it like Simply. Simply goes crazy. KFC finished me. That's what it yeah. was. Because it's so that was it. KFC. Like I was I was riding high, right? Yeah. yeah. And then we get to KFC and it's just a sodium bomb. And it I felt like my cause I had to eat the biscuits. Oh. Cause like I, I'm a biscuit guy. I like it normally. It basically sucked my innards further in. Yeah. I don't know how to describe <laughs> it. Like so my gross. my what stomach like collapsed in and of itself. And I just felt <laughs> like like I just felt oh, like so sodium doubt yeah. and, it, and it ruined KFC for me permanently thank god we had the guzzler in the car drinking oh, all the yeah. drinks yeah. cutie cutie yeah. the guzzler yeah. she, the guzzler. Guzzler. Drink. she was doing like mean girl shit by the end of it yeah. like putting what? it down with like water yeah oh slamming <laughs> it back it was crazy while we're on the topic of food this is for you Emmy okay and I want you to Spit a soliloquy about this, man. Well, they have okay. their own topics, by the way. This is their podcast. I don't know their topics. We, we have topics, but these are just like for us. If like we have a you know, whole list, and we do one of them. On yeah, the list. we just talk about whatever the fuck we want. Their no, I know. That's why yeah, I was yeah. saying, like, wait for them to throw it. No, 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 no we're chilling. We're yeah. chilling. Okay, okay, off. I mean, I want to talk about a man who's hungry. Okay, I want to talk about hungry man. Hungry man. Talk about Joe. Joe. Joe is hungry. I love him. He's so cool. Are we doing a collab with Joe while I'm in town? Is he here? Joe's no. Here? But he, so I've pitched this to him and he's on board. I would love to do a For collab with him. For his next review, he's going to go get the foods. Okay. We're going to get the foods here because they're all fast food items. And we're going to do dueling reviews with sneak doodle bites. Okay. If you'd be into it. I'm down. Can you tell them who Joe is? Uh, so Joe is a food review channel. Yes. His name's Joe is Hungry. Uh, he's an older gentleman with cats and he does these crazy like the Zoomer Zoomer edits with yes. like montage so music. Good. Yes, yeah, yeah, he'll do like oh, the slow-mo, the cuts. Yeah. He edits he it has, like, like it's 10 cameras. Movie. Yeah, like even in his car, he has like four DSLRs set up at different angles uh -huh. so he can swap them out. Who, who put you on Joe? Uh, I think it, I think it was my chat, but yeah. my chat said that they knew of him because of Vebe. Okay, yeah, my, yeah, I knew of him because of uh, Aethel and Yanners. Yeah, I think a lot of VTubers watch him. <laughs> He's well, so whoa. sick. Dave, Dave is yeah. a friend of both Emmy and mine now. He's reached out. He watches mm -hmm. our him? streams. Oh, that's Dave. Wait, yeah, hungry he, he, watches, he watches the streams. streams. My, my brain just had an absolute collapse. Hey, that's okay. Um, but yeah, so we want to do a review. What is going on? Dude, he's him. Joseph. Okay, I, there's no audio. <laughs> oh my God, what is it? What, there's no audio. Yeah, the, okay, and I'm so the audio, there's definitely like dubstep music playing. Yes. He talks like an announcer. Wow, bah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. Is this supposed to be food? Uh, He's gonna eat that shit. Out. No, he, someone sent him a side. So go to the go to the <laughs> very oh. end. Yeah, skip to, to like the middle, the middle slash so the, end. When he gets back to the studio, 
Okay, so this is important. There is an element of neurodivergence to his reviews that's incredible. Nice. Where right. he's like weighing every item, taking its temperature. Yeah. He gets four of every item and compares the weights. Then he does the average For price. Like quality control. Yes, yeah. average price per gram oh, of right. the fast food versus the market. Sure. And he has an average price per gram of all fast food items. And he's just, he's just him. He's the best fast food This reviewer. is the greatest thing I've yeah. ever, why didn't you tell oh, me he about is this? Not because I knew you were going to swoop in and steal our friendship. <laughs> That's crazy oh, that yeah. you, you hid this from me. I do. I what else are you hiding from me? I have to hide things. He, what else are you hiding from me? He streamers too. Mean? Like he, he did like a birthday shout out for me with like my channel and stuff. Wow. Was like, oh, that's okay. so nice. She's just flexing. Yeah, now, she's, now flexing. she's like, no, this I'm is, just this saying that he, 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 no, I'm saying this like, I th if more people watched him, I think he would be happy. I, yeah, you hear that? If more people watched him, he'd be happy. We no, can't gatekeep no. Joe, okay? He deserves to that's shine. Crazy. Hassan always does this where I like go source culture and then I tell him about it and then he'll be like, yeah, dude, I watched this thing last night and then the artist reaches out and I'm like, oh my God, this is like my favorite person. They're like, yeah, big shouts out to Hassanabi and I'm like, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Remember where that happened with Mondo Grosso? Did it happen Mondo with Mondo Grosso? Sanishi Osawa. I don't remember that. Rhyme so. Oh, with rhyme. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe we okay, should yeah. gatekeep Joe then. Well, yeah. what do you mean? We developed a personal friendship with That's her true. now. That's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> like she literally uh, showed us around in yeah. Japan. There was this, this artist that like Will really liked and he showed her to me at the time. Them. Because it's Sanishi and Rhyme. Yeah. And then they like, when we watched it on stream, they were like, whoa, this is sick. Yeah. yeah. And then they like hyped me up. And then we established a connection. And like when we went to Japan, she like showed us around. So y'all met up with them and everything. Yeah. Yes. Holy shit. We went to a concert that was insane. Oh yeah. yeah. She was like DJing. He was too. Or he was too. Yeah. It was, it was wild. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's crazy. In Japan. It was actually really sick. That was an insane night. Man, we've had some fun. We had some fun. Um, but let's get back to Austin. Yeah, what do you okay. Because the I thing- I about a lot of things. The thing I want to say is, I, and I <laughs> yeah. know Tecton's going to get fucking mad at this, okay? Ooh. I get pissed at everything though. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Most so do I. But, um, so speaking of Japan, in yeah. comparison to Austin, like, the thing I don't like about Austin is that it is, in many ways, very similar to the rest of the country where it's just like, like I said, it's the, the ugly housing blocks- and then like, you know, malls for all the eye can comprehend and see. And I don't know. I just, I feel like, I wish we had our cities had like more. Um, Zhuzh. Yeah, a little I bit more so. of a, maybe public transit, walkability. I feel like all of that stuff like compounds into making a city a real city. Mm. Well, I used to have a woods behind my house and now it's an apartment complex. Oh, oh damn. And then, yeah, whenever I would drive down the woods, now it's houses. It's everywhere. Yeah. yeah, no, there's no public transit. It's the same bus that I took when I was like 10 years old. Same fucking bus. Nothing has changed at all. Are you, are you still taking problem? the bus like Keanu Reeves? No, I just did it to go down to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Well, so why is, why is no public transit a problem is buy a car? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's like, it would just, it would be nice. Yeah, a right it's a really, really, really funny really. thing about that. Uh, so before I started the show, I told you yeah. guys this, um, my fucking car died. Like I am yeah. literally, my car is marooned and like a, a mile away from this yeah. right now. It just fucking died after I got off the highway. It said, "Okay, I got you there. Now I'm done." Mm. And so yeah, I've got to get a new car. Get now. a new car. So what did you do? One? So you had to walk. I walked. Wait I just, I just, I got out of the car. I what parked it. What kind of car was to that? The cyber truck. It was a 2001 Mustang. And what are you going to get now? Cybertruck. Probably. A uh, Cybertruck. A 2002 uh, Mustang. Uh, maybe 2022. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I don't want to spend a lot of money, right? I don't live in a really, really nice area. So I'm not trying to buy like an expensive car that. Would you, you, ever, know, leave, would you ever leave it up to chance? Would you do a big wall of like every car, spin Ooh. a wheel for a stream and you have Ooh, to get I like that. Oh, fuck. Dude, he's that would be so, scary. This is so. He's I so would good. be so Wait, scary. What's, what's a lot of money to you? I'm a little, you know I'm a little upset. Yeah. You, guys are, you guys are stealing you, my. You guys are stealing my big brain guy. Yeah. He just like comes yeah. up like, yeah. like, like all the time. But you could put every car on there. You could right. have everything from like a 
PT Cruiser to a Fuck that. La, ba- yeah. La Baron. There, there's no way he's got that to PT yeah, Cruiser. He, he's, got the, he's got that Maybach right next to that 91 Corolla. <laughs> I mean, shit, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe I would do something like that. I just, I don't want to get like, I think I'm no, pro- probably trying to get something under 50,000. Okay, okay. Just get a cheap, easy car, I, Tesla, not deal with it. So you like American cars. Is that why you want a Mustang? I don't give a fuck. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I recommend Toyotas. 100%. Well, yeah, al ah. uses them. Yeah. I mean, so if they're it works the for them, I'm they're the best. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. No, literally. Yeah. So <laughs> the there's, a, there's an entire concept called uh, the Toyota Wars between Libya and Chad, yeah. where they fought because Chad got fucking Toyota pickup trucks, the hills. Chad was getting all the pussy. <laughs> yeah. They literally were able to defeat the Libyan army because they kitted out the hillixes that they had left behind for like UN workers yeah. and stuff, the blue helmets, with machine guns. It's called technicals, right? Mm-hmm. That's the that's the term for it. And the suspension is so good on those motherfuckers and they can just like survive everything yeah. that you can put a goddamn anti-aircraft machine gun on it that's so <laughs> heavy so cool. and it still rides. Have you seen the new $10,000 truck they're doing? Oh, Wait, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The they're doing one? a new car that's only $10,000. They're what? only releasing it releasing it in Asia though, but it's fire. Yeah. It looks wow. cool too. I am a big, $10, I'm a big Toyota rider. I would tell yeah, you, I, I still have my Camry. Yeah. I still have my Camry from, I have a 2010 Camry that yeah. I still drive. Uh, on a daily basis, even though I have a, a Porsche now, oh. and there it is. Yeah, that's a oh, ten thousand dollar truck. That's a nice truck. Yeah, yeah. But, you can't, but that that's like hilarious. that will not be released in America because of like our cafe standards and uh, and and the fact that like K trucks are are too op for American yeah. trucks. Really? No, I say you get a Tesla. You have a car that drives itself. I can't I mean, see yeah. him driving a Tesla. I'm not, I'm not about getting a Tesla. Like, like a Cybertruck? Because now, nah, because you see somebody with a Tesla, you're going to try to get in that car. Because mm. like, there's some some kind of shit that they have in that car you want to steal. Yeah. And like, I don't want That's, anybody yeah. trying to get in my car. Shoot them. Like, I, well, yeah, but like, what if, then, well, then what? I think well, you're then they're dead. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're good. I think you're yeah. an F-250, sure. man. An F-250? No, yeah. they're yeah. expensive there too. There is no shot yeah. that I buy a truck. Yeah. No way. Because then people are going to ask me to help them. Like, I don't have to do that. Yeah, it's like, if I have a truck, they're like, hey, man, so I'm getting ready to move. Yeah, it's like, yeah, think in the future. No, I, 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 my mom used to have a Toyota truck, and it was like the same one that had Toyota on the back. And mm-hmm. you're right. Like, that shit lasted forever. It's so good. It was like 20, 30 years. Yeah. Something like that. Easy. I'm telling you, you Aspen's wheel of yeah. cars would go insane. I would I like my that. Mom. I would Just be make so it stressed. like old cars. And then yeah. one. Make it all old cars, and then a it's Lamborghini like Gallardo. Yeah. 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 Just so stupid. A Pugatti. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, ah, fuck. What was that? the Toyota pickup truck thing sidetracked us? What were we talking about before? Oh, Austin. What yeah, I don't like yeah. about Austin. Yeah. It's it's important to have public transit because like, like you said, you don't get fucking stranded. You know what I mean? I, like, yeah. you have an alternative to like driving a car. I'm not like saying also abolish cars. Also, people who cars. are visiting the city can get around. That's also another big one. Yeah. It's called Uber. We've been trying to add a mini <laughs> rail system for like the last, like for my whole life. We've yeah. been trying to add a oh, mini rail system. Oh, the mini rail, rail is so ass. It's crazy yeah. cause you'll see it go by and then like the thing that stops the road will go down and you'll yeah. see it go by and it's completely fucking empty and there's like 50 cars waiting. Right. It's so fucking annoying. See, it's and a, no, no one uses traffic. it. That's why public transit sucks. Just fucking Uber, Lyft. Yeah. So Your car, they're cheap. Mm. Walk. The the reason why it's probably empty, I don't know anything about the mini rail in yeah. Austin, but usually the reason why those uh, public transit opportunities are empty is because it probably doesn't go anywhere. Like it does, it's not expansive enough. Because like public transit has to be sitting on a grid, okay, and and constantly going nonstop. Yeah, accessible. And I have no I, idea I, where I, you yeah. get on or off I'm of it. Counterpoint. What? I think also in the United States, there is a stigma. I don't agree with this. Okay. That if you use public transportation, you're you poor. are poor. You're poor yeah. and you're a loser. Yeah. And that's the truth. Yep, you didn't make it. Yeah. That's Guys, right. The only <laughs> city. <laughs> but I mean, that, that's what it is, though. Yeah, right? you're, you're right. Yeah. The only city in this entire beautiful nation, right? From she- sea to shining sea, New York. New York is the only My city, home city where 51%. Is. Yeah. of the daily commuters yeah. are actually utilizing public transit. Yeah. This number is unimaginable in any other country. Sure. So public 51% trans- of people there are poor? The majority. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. It's, 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 the public transportation in New York is so much 
more efficient yeah. than taking a cab. Like yeah. if if you tell a New Yorker that you are going to call a cab to get someone there, they're they're going to think you're stupid. Yeah, oh, they're going to think you're so stupid longer. to use the subway. Yeah. yeah. The problem yeah. is it's also ass. Like yeah. in New York, it's ass too. It's one of the worst yeah, fucking public transit. It's like <laughs> you, globally. You haven't been in the New York subway to use a homeless accessible. man use sure, a subway yeah. car as a bathroom. Oh no, yeah. the shit I saw because I moved to Canada and I thought Canada was going to be better America. The shit I've seen in London, Ontario was the worst shit I've ever seen in my whole really? life. Really? Fucking homeless people everywhere, crack needles everywhere, heroin. I, I got a dog for like 24 hours. I tried to walk it around. I couldn't because there was so much broken glass, homeless people. Like I took a shit in my, like I took a shit in my car. He broke <laughs> my window. Car? He broke my back window to take a shit in my car. Nice. He also ripped fuck? off my America plates because I had Texas plates. Wait, so I'm not uh, even motivated. Wait, yes. Why? Racially, racially motivated. Why would he shit oh, in your because car? I'm assuming it was because I had Texas plates. And they probably, well, they don't like America. This, yeah. this was yeah. during uh, Donald Trump beat He's era. He's a patriot. Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. was freaking God. the fuck out. By the way, dude, I don't know, y'all experienced Donald Trump in America. Yeah. Yeah. Experiencing Donald Trump in Canada was insane. Yeah. Why? There was people screaming, crying, thinking really? they were going to die the next day. <laughs> oh, oh my God. That's you want to hear why? an amazing story? Oh, because people were horrified of them. That it was going to cause like World War III the whole time. I was, uh, the night of the okay. elections, mm. I was sure that Donald Trump would lose, right? I was sure. Not me. Me too. And I was, I was out <laughs> in West me. Hollywood, California, the gayest oh, city no. in America, <laughs> oh, no. with my awesome mother. Show. My oh. mother who grew up on like a farm and we were both just trying to avoid the elections. Sure. Like, let's go get some food in West Hollywood, whatever. Mm. Like halfway through the night, we hear like sobbing, like audible <laughs> sobbing oh, and screaming. God. And all of these election night parties where the gays were going to celebrate yeah, Hillary Clinton. Mother Hillary taking the office yeah. turned into like, scenes from like a horror movie where yep. it was like no it, it was like oh that God. It, wow. was, it was really like I just that. saw the. F I will well, never forget this visual I will years. never forget this <laughs> yeah. visual no, he, he is winning next election there was a man who ran by the restaurant sobbing with a, just an armful of balloons yeah yeah, oh brother. I don't. We don't talk about politics on our podcast. No. So uh -huh. I don't know what your policy we is, but we're That's we're about non, as deep as we get. We're a non-political yeah. podcast. Oh no, I remember. I remember that night very well myself. I went to get Taco Bell, and I remember <laughs> seeing the the screenshot of the three hundred and five electoral votes, and I'm like. No, I gotta check another website. Like, there's, yeah. there's no, no, no. Like, it was unbelievable. Yeah, I was like, I, there's happened. What I was the at the Young Turks at the time. Like, we live reacted to it. Like, that was yeah. like our election coverage. And when maybe you were the at best, the Young Turks at the time, it was too, maybe actually. the mm -hmm. best piece of art that the Turks ever made. Was there was, those yeah, the, there's, there's the yeah, there's like compilations that went viral about like Jank, Jank and Anna like, Gasparri melting down. Yeah. You were live reacting to Trump being elected. Yeah. Well, how long have you been streaming for? No, he no. was he oh. was working at a political I was at a I, I was at a political news network before oh, okay. I started. I worked streaming. there too with him. Oh, yeah. I did not know. That's awesome. Yeah. I helped him make his the breakdown. Yeah, that, those uh, shoes were fire though. Yeah, we, those we were, were really good. good. We would make like sketches and yeah. uh, you know, fun stuff. Well, it was a constant we were constantly battling f for just a crumb of funds or a little bit of respect <laughs> internally yeah, yeah. at the that, company so we can make was, like funny sketches. That was uh. so funny. This is this is really funny. This is an insider meme and you can hear it from me. A lot of people will claim like, oh, you know, it's on Nebo, baby. Like, we started on TYT easy. The way that Hassan was treated at TYT <laughs> was the funniest shit I've ever been a part Lower of. Lower than dirt. Well, was <laughs> <it>? So, so <laughs> I, I've worked in the industry for a long time. I've run sound. I've run camera. I know how a set is supposed to look. Yeah. When he would do a shoot, even though he was like their highest viewed whatever it, from a but, supply closet that we cart that i was like okay yes. well no one's using the supply closet i'm gonna turn this into a green screen yeah. studio Dude, i just remember to one which they were like no you're not and then example, i had to do it myself there was a camera person who would here's like the camera they'd be running the camera and they'd be on their phone and they'd be running camera and i'd be watching the monitor and sometimes they would just like dip out of frame <laughs> and i would like fix the camera yeah. and cutting his head off and we would get yelled at for that yeah. because they're like yo you're, the you're telling the cameraman how to do his job and I was oh like my God. I was like dude he was on Facebook they just like they just yeah they they hated it like yeah, they, they hated, hated us they, they were just, hated us like, why well cause I'm I'm Jenk's nephew right oh uh -huh, right and, and yeah. like for that reason everyone's like fuck you right yeah. like what, what the fuck like you're also doing cause, and I'm also like very stubborn yeah. and like uh, you know want to exercise my creativity and want to do all this stuff and like also, I think to a certain degree, they just didn't 
get it. Yeah, that too, for sure. Right. They looked at the stuff we were making, which is, I'm going to be honest, the way that I think a lot of traditional media companies look at like YouTubers and streamers and stuff, and they're yeah. like, what is this trash? And why yeah. do people watch it? Right. They just can't wrap their minds around the style of content we make at Like all. that lady with the Tetris kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck yeah. that bitch. Yeah. Dude, she was like, she was like, video games are not a job, okay? <laughs> Wait, what Someone happened? gets your kid off the fucking Tetris. What is, what is yeah. this? So, so there was that? this this lady that did like, so this kid broke like some crazy record on Tetris. Oh and yeah, like, I saw that. Effectively yeah. beat the game, yeah. right? Then yeah. this lady on Sky News goes on and she's like, yeah, well, at least now you can go outside. And she yeah. like just totally yeah. downplays what it. What the fuck? And, like, yeah, well, she says video games will never be a job. So like now you can go start your life basically. Yeah. Which is okay. so funny because like they <laughs> are 13. a better grossing job. Probably yeah, also, than also, he's also he's crazy a kid in the first place. Yeah, That's 13. crazy. I don't yeah. know if you guys got this, but yeah. when I was a kid, I definitely got that all the time. That video games were just a wasted time Constantly. suck. Constantly. Pro, pro, like uh, you will get oh, yeah. nothing from this. You and so video games were effectively banned in my house. Wow. In, in a way that like. I could still buy them with my own money if I taught tennis and bought them, but no one was allowed to buy me video games sure. or acknowledge my video game habit. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so for- How did you get around it? I, I would teach tennis. I started teaching tennis at 15 and I would work like all summer, eight hours, nine hours a day on oh, the you court. Didn't, you didn't like sneak video games in your house? No, I, oh, I, 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 I had to buy them all yeah. my own. Oh yeah. Dude. I, 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 first of all, in Turkey, mm. when I was growing up, especially back then, they would never, like, video games just would not release yeah. legally. Literally, like, it would take, like, months for even a movie to come to Turkey. And video games in the same uh, vein as well. And they were so unimaginably expensive. They were considered, uh, like, a luxury item. So there's a massive black market. Yeah. And this is, like, the same for... <laughs> All I can think of is some Turkish dude with a coat. Yeah. Abibi, Abibi. No, 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 no. You want Pokemon? No, no, no. You want Pokemon? No, it's not even like that. I got red. I got the red. I got the yellow. I got the <laughs> it's not even like that. It is, it is such a robust industry that yeah. they have brick-and-mortar stores that only sold... Black market cracked, games. Black market wow. games with, what like, crack in it. Yeah. Right? So that's that's... <laughs> That's basically what crack, like the the software. The code, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, like the <laughs> not code that crack. crack. Yeah, not crack cocaine. Yeah, um, those were extra. So, like, and, and movies as well, because, like, all of that stuff was, like, inaccessible unless you pirated it. Yeah. So I played every video game, but my parents, I don't know what happened. They probably watched, like, a TV show or something where they were, like, pedophiles are trying to connect with your children by playing <laughs> online games, right? And that, like, Stuck with them, yeah, right. so oh, they were like, "Son, what is a low punny? Yeah, what is it? <laughs> what is this?" So they had no idea what I was doing, but like in my child brain, I thought I was a massive Dota head. Mm -hmm. I I never play MOBA anymore because of Dota. Right, like I like that's the first MOBA, and I was yeah. really invested in it. Yeah. And so I, while listening to that, I would play Dota, and I downloaded programs yeah. that would, if you hit like a couple keystrokes, would automatically minimize the page and hide it. Just like insta, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, these are, yeah, these are things that you use like when you're in a workplace or something yeah. right. when, and you want to just like watch porn. I don't know why you would sure. want to do that, but it's some shit like that. And I downloaded all these programs and I would have to do it like in secret. Like I was masturbating right, basically right, yeah. on the family yeah. computer. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, um, and yeah, I, it's weird because like, they have no fucking idea what difference this game is in comparison to fucking like a single player game. They don't know. But I thought with my child brain that they would, I had to do all this stuff yeah. to play these video I, games. I had to mentally manipulate my family into thinking I was a psychopath to play video games. Whoa, okay. So what? I had this whole thing. We were not allowed to play video games at sure. all. So I would collect change from soda machines enough till I could buy my own Game Boy Color. Okay. And I also got Pokemon Red. Okay. I would carry a sock around. 24 7 and i would just play with it i would just play with a fucking sock right and so what i would do is because if you stretch the sock thin enough you could see through it so i would put my game boy color in it and i would tell my mom i'm gonna go play with my sock 
<laughs> and because we were so poor, she literally thought I was insane enough to just play with a sock <laughs> like eight hours a fucking day. And I would bring it everywhere so I could play video games in my house. Okay, all your story is, is way <laughs> more insane. <laughs> it was awesome. Like, I would bring it fucking sock. everywhere. Like, oh, can't we without my sock? It was so funny. Damn. I did that for like two years. Wow. God Did damn. she figure it out? No. Wow. Never figured have, it out. Oh my God. Have I told her? Uh, yes, uh, no. I have. I have well, told her. What was that conversation like? No, she was like, oh, that makes more sense, I guess. She wasn't relieved? <laughs> no. <laughs> she wasn't like, oh my God, I thought you were fucking deranged. <laughs> she's, like, <laughs> she's like, you're still deranged, but like, I guess subtly, like yeah. slightly yeah. Wouldn't that be funny if she didn't believe you? She's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, buddy. She's like, yeah, no, I really killer. wasn't playing with a sock. She's like, yeah. all right. <laughs> what do you say? That was awesome. <laughs> God damn. What was, what was your first game? Were you a wow head right from the beginning? Fuck no, man. Like my mom played video games. Like really? I was a, no. Oh yeah, I grew up. I was a total fucking loser and I loved it. It was great. I'd come home every day, play video games. There was like a period in time in high school where my GPA was a .08. Yep. And there was I a conversation about save. maybe you shouldn't play as many video yeah. games. But other than that, no, I did it the whole time. I didn't play WoW so I was 16. What was what were you playing with your mom? What oh fuck, like Super Mario World. Oh. Like like oh all the old God. games, Legend of Zelda, yeah, all the good That's shit. So absolutely, good. Snez, yeah, yeah. Snaz was so yeah. Good. She would get into it too. She would play it and like absolutely, yeah. She even played WoW too. Like yeah. Oh, you know what I think about it? That's the only game I wasn't able to play because you really? needed a credit card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't. I don't have a credit card, right. and so I couldn't find like a work around it. Yeah. So that was the only online game I didn't play. Everyone was like super invested in WoW uh, in, in my friend group. And I think that saved my life. Really? When yeah, I think probably, about it, like, probably, yeah. if I got it's invested in WoW too, because like Dota was already like my massive addiction. Yeah. You, you'd be in that seat right yeah, now. I'd be yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I'd be a, a genuine, like I never played it. Mm -hmm. I mean, what was your first game? Uh, it might have been Melee. Really? Yeah, my uncles. Or I think the, the first game that I had was a Kirby Game Boy game. Dude, do y'all remember the golden days where like you played uh, Smash and the Nintendo 64 and then you heard Melee was getting released? Yep. So you and your homies would like speculate, yep. who's coming to Melee? Mm. Oh, bro, that was the golden era of mm. gaming, man. GameCube, PS2. My golden era of gaming, mm. no one will agree with me, Dreamcast. Really? Dreamcast was the best. Because it was too fucking expensive. It had the like best the controllers were like fifty dollars then. It was what crazy. Year was, that? Uh, was I alive for Dreamcast? You, oh yeah, it was like ninety eight somewhere around there. Okay, okay. No, I think Dreamcast was even after. I think Dreamcast was like two thousand. Really? Well, what were oh, the titles? Two thousand. Like Spyro, uh, dude, Crazy Taxi, Sonic Adventure, Power Stone, Jet Set Radio, Jet Set, Jet Set Radio's yeah. Dreamcast. Yeah, yeah. Dude, fuck with that game. All, all, game all game of on Sega's, all coolest, Sega's games, yeah. House of the Dead. All of Sega's yeah. like coolest titles were yeah. on Dreamcast, and Dreamcast basically the controller is the model that got used for every subsequent. So that's what that fucking thing is. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That yeah. controller is the yeah. stupidest oh. shit I've ever seen. No, it's yep. Is that a screen insane. on yeah. it? What is that? So the memory cards, they had this dilemma of like, how do you play with your friends over systems? You put them yeah. in the controller. So the memory card had a screen and then the memory card was actually a Game Boy. Yeah. So it had things that you could do and play called a visual memory card and you would take your profile mm -hmm. with you. It was oh. insane. That's, that, that's actually it was dope. really ahead of its time. great idea. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right. I want to my, talk to you about wait. something. Before we move on, I have to, while related, quickly. Wait, oh, okay. Quickly. I was going to say my favorite era of gaming and say I think that you're you wrong. owe <laughs> only fangs an apology by way of an apology. Really? How's that? We, we cleared Molten Core. I yeah. was, I'm going to be honest, I was surprised. Mm -hmm. I was impressed. I was impressed even. Hey. I, I thought to myself, I was like, there is no fucking way <laughs> that they're going to get to 60, that they're going to figure this shit out. <laughs> and then like, there were all these power leveling methods and like these like uh, troll yeah. fang necklaces people are yeah. turning in. I'm like, I forgot even all about that. Yeah. And I was amazed. We that changed it, the economy yep. because we were no, you generating Permanently. So like even <laughs> now, the economy is completely fucked. It's like, I'm not even kidding. It was like a thousand <laughs> percent inflation. It was Everything. 90 percent Emmy though. <laughs> it was a lot. Yeah, really did I tell was. you that uh, I was on track to beat the world record for like leveling to 60? No. Because no, of my power leveling. If, if How I, fast? Um, I got to like level 40 and I think like, oh God, I want to say like 11 or 12 hours. That and is if, so if, cool. if I kept going, yeah. it would have beat the world record, but I I, kept, I played normally from that point. That is hand. a point of perspective. It took me three months when the game first came out to yeah. get level 40. 
Jesus I'm, Christ. Dude, hitting 60 when you cannot die yeah. as a bad player. I'm right, going yeah. to straight up say it. I, I haven't played since I was 14 years old, right? Mm -hmm. I played when I was 14. I played to the first expansion pack. I loved it. Great. And then it was a piece of my life that I moved on from. I was bad at the game. Yeah. It was so nerve wracking. I was scared. <laughs> it was so all stressful. The time I, I was like, I can't do this. Again. I died at fifty nine. I know, I like saw a week that. before so the rain. Wow. Like, actually, that's kind of funny. You are it a legend so though for just getting up over and over. No, because every over time again. I died, I was like, "This is it. I can't. I literally can't do it anymore." And then I would sit there at my computer for fifteen minutes and then be like, "No, I gotta go." <laughs> yeah. Did you see the clip of me? When you died? I don't oh think my so. God, this is so. So I was doing a sponsor for Jimmy John. Or no, sorry. Fuck. Jersey Mike's. Ah. And I was live with Jersey Mike's and they wanted me to play World of Warcraft because it's a game they could wrap their head around anyway. So mm -hmm. I'm doing like an ad like, make sure you go and get a wet sandwich. They're delicious. Um, and you know how the titles come up when someone dies? I'm yeah. in the middle of a bad stream and I go, <gasps> Oh, no! <laughs> it was when you were 59. Yeah. And yeah. the brand ambassador was like, what just happened? Like, they're messaging me on this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, oh, no. oh, God, Emmy's dead again. I don't know if she'll have the strength. I don't oh, yeah, know. we were in, like, <laughs> strat, strat Alive or something. Yeah, it was, I was fucking... It was actually sad. Like, it's like, yeah. that was the death, and I watched it, and it's like, Fuck. Yeah. Like that's that just sucks. It took a piece of us. Cause it, yeah. you were the one that if you could do it, we could all do it. Because yeah. you just kept getting up. <laughs> it was you and Seer. Yeah. Everyone yeah. was like, okay, Seer, 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 Seer didn't die Seer at all. Quit. I know, but like yeah. from the beginning, so yeah. it was like, yeah. if Seer can do it, anybody Well, I was really sad that Seer didn't didn't finish, but yeah, he didn't yeah. die at all. But yeah. he, he was being really smart and safe. Our guild needs leadership. Really? Is the last thing I will say. Oh, God. So does Step Down. Yeah. yeah so does Step And he said done. that a hero would lead them. Oh, will God. Will you take us? Well, if you take just, it, just, I play just it again. Season 100%. of Mastery. Fuck season it. of Mastery. Play Season of Mastery. Like, I, because I'm just <laughs> saying, like, no. I don't, I don't want to play hardcore because I've got to be focused. Like, usually, whenever I play a video game, I turn my brain off. Right. Like, that's the good thing about playing an MMO. It's like, yeah, I'm going to kill bears for nine hours. Yeah. And it's like, okay, there you so go. Some men like want to be great and some men have greatness thrust upon them. Oh, lead, lead, us, lead, us oh, lead us into death. Lead us into the Blackwing layer. Get everybody killed Fuck on yes. the first poll. Fuck it. That's, that's a 10 die. million view video. Every yeah. streamer yep. sort of built this guild. I destroy it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's so sick. Yeah. We need to die though. Like we like yeah. we can't have all these level 60 yeah, characters. I, I still have my character. Did you, did I, you think ever that, die? I think it'll oh, happen. Did I die? Femboy Hole is still yeah. out there. Oh I remember God. when you came back. Right yeah. in, uh, what were we? Arathi Highlands? Yep. Yeah, me and C were playing. You got back in. Oh, I was so fucking yeah, stoked. We battled. Yeah. It was a good moment. I was amazed that you guys got so far. Like, I really did not expect that. And then, like, especially whenever Miz was like, yeah, I'm going to play WoW again. And it's like the first day he's listening to YMCA dying at, like, level 15. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah this, is, so this is going to be fun to watch. So you know, I was amazed. Like, Screaming at Russell. Russell, Russell, what yeah. did you do? What did you do? As he's jumping off a cliff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh man, good times. <laughs> it was a very good time. Like I, uh, I'm very glad that it's over because I fucking hated playing hardcore. I hated it, it so was, much. It was painful. Into death. Oh yeah. Okay. I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Confirmed. Well, I mean, like it, I'd have to get to sixty, which would be pretty easy to do, okay, right? Yeah. I'm like forty-seven or something. Yeah. And then I'm sure that like after maybe a couple more months, people will be like, "Oh yeah, what, well, what, what's after that, right?" Yeah. And then they come back. You get ready for BWL, and yeah. then it happens. I think we, we have, got we have some a, a, a whole. Too. Yeah. Band of bagpipers playing us in like Braveheart. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if we clear it though? We just that would smoke be it. So we hype. just fucking smoke that it. That would be I so don't, hype. I, I, I don't think it'd be that hard. Like, I feel like BWL is not really that That's, much harder than Moltencore. No, no Moltencore so is pretty brain dead. It is I'm a gonna joke, be honest. But yeah. so is BWL. Okay. But the yeah. thing is, dude, we over-repaired like fucking crazy. You did. I mean, yeah, really I did. take this in. Yeah. The only knowledge we get is how you explain the fight before we do it. There were right. still a few moments where people almost died, though. Like yeah. on, on Baron. Yeah. yeah. The, the I bomb. think there was, yeah. there was also some disconnect because I think on some people's streams, health bars got super low. Yeah, mine and yours were bugged. Yeah. yeah. So our Adam was bugged. I was chilling. Yeah, I was free. It kept saying I people were at 1%. <laughs> I, I was feel so like fucking... people were upset that people didn't die. Like viewers oh, yeah, were they mad. Were, yeah. they, like, were they were livid. I, yeah, I'll be real. Were I was pissed. They were livid. I, like, I, I remember everybody, bad. everybody in like the classic WoW community, whenever this started, was like, yeah, they're never gonna make it past level 40. Like they're like me, right? Yeah. And so I was like, there's no way this is gonna happen. And then 
as soon as it happened, they're like, oh yeah, it's not that big of a deal though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that was easy. Dude, watching yeah. the comments for your video where you go into Dead Minds with double fiery, fully enchanted, gave like, this isn't the way to play the game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was so good, dude. <laughs> she's, she's not opening herself to a risk of death? Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck, man? She's not dying for content. Yeah. Mm. I do wish we lost at least 10 people in that raid, though. Really? Oh, that would have so good. But the thing is, leading up to that moment, so many of us died. Yeah. Yep. And we just kept getting up. Though. But just imagine mm -hmm. Soda dies the fight before Ragnaros. Oh my God. And we God. have to do it without him. And they say they're heroes. And then Miz has to become the main type. Oh God. Oh my God. Wow. That would have been a really good narrative. Yep. Like, I mean, to be fair, that would have been a better story. Absolutely. Miz almost yeah. wiped the raid when, oh. when Soda was. Uh, uh, no, yeah, you're right. During that yeah. part, yes. Yep. Yeah. Did he? Wow. And then uh, they told me to raid lead, and Soda did not and like that. And you almost <laughs> like No, I didn't. I was doing fine, and Soda lost his shit. Uh, I killed it, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was good times. All right, what other topics do you have uh, for I this would like podcast. to talk about some crazy shit. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about Vincent Kennedy McMahon and his Ooh. actions that he has taken in WWE. Um, yeah, I kind of have a little bit of an insider perspective on this. People forget this, but... Uh, G4, may, yeah. he re may they rest in peace, was uh, heavily linked with wrestling. So yeah. I talked to a lot of wrestlers on that show. Yeah. And, you know, the, the Vince McMahon stepping down was happening. But present it, but the second time. Present it for everybody. Uh, oh. what, is, what is the latest version of the Mi Vince McMahon saga? So, so what had happened was, first of all, and I, I can, I've been watching wrestling for 20 years. I did a little bit of professional wrestling myself. It was a lot of fun. Love oh, it. Oh, wow. Uh, but I'm a very fragile man, so I can't do that shit anymore. Uh, so Vince McMahon has charges where he spent $16 million of hush money towards four different women. And the latest latest charge against him is that he was sex trafficking, sex trafficking in the WWE, going so far as having sex with multiple women at the same time and during intercourse with one woman defecating on top of another woman's head, making them stay covered in feces for an hour and a half while fucking their friends in front of her. I'm gonna be real. That's insane. So I'm gonna be real. Down. What the fuck? Yeah. Ac accusations like that, I I just tend to believe because who can make something yeah. like that? Who has that, that kind up? of imagination? Yeah. Yes, it's yeah. insane. Yeah, and also it's Vince McMahon, so he's like. Not a good guy. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's like, a bad guy. That he's not just a bad evil. guy on television. Yeah. Like, he's he's actually a bad guy. I don't know so anything about some him, of really. it. Some of it actually makes for great content when yeah. you're watching it because it's like really gross and you're like yeah. oh I can't believe that that was a plot line like yep. yeah. like his I guess his son-in-law technically Shane O'Mac Shane yeah. O'Mac uh, uh, like kidnapping his, his, his daughter and like roofing her oh and then, you're like, thinking of Triple H oh yeah Triple what? H is okay. what I was thinking so there's so much shit uh, there's so many different lore but yeah. you, you, so, you know. so Vince has frequently said the n-word had other wrestlers say the n-word oh, yeah. sure. he made a storyline about Triple H fucking uh, a, a white or uh, a wrestler's dead wife in the coffin yeah like yeah, it's called, it's called Saltburn. Katie Vick. No, it's called Saltburn. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Saltburn. It's, 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 it's an art it's house another movie. movie. Where oh, okay. Oh, God. Amazon Prime, Prime Amazon Studios movie. Yeah, uh, he also waited to fire a wrestler called CM Punk until it was his wedding day. And oh. just, he just waited. He was like, okay, and you're gone, buddy. On his it, fucking wedding Isn't CM Punk day. also like pro-unionization too? I think he was. I maybe? have no idea. He, I yeah. think he was as well. That was like another well, big dude, reason yeah. why he did not. That like is, the, the contracts that the WWE had for wrestlers were awful. Yeah. They have no protections. Oh, yeah, where they don't like, they, they can't even talk about it or yeah. they don't have any rights, basically. They, they also yeah. have like very little health care. Right. Yeah. Uh, none. And, and none. none, but also not, and especially nothing after you're done as well. Uh huh. I mean, um, do you watch any wrestling? No, I don't. So this is should. all this is all new to me. It's, it's actually sick. So it's actually a lot of fun. I right? had to have this descriptor with a with a friend recently, where I had to describe what is wrestling and what's the appeal. And I think yep. wrestling to an outside observer is a soap opera. It is, yeah. Played out on a grand stage over many, many, many years, mm -hmm. but they add that classic kind of. Just in like something that we can all relate to, which is violence. So it's like a real life anime. Yeah, it's, yes. it's redneck anime. Yeah. It's, it's redneck right anime. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's redneck yeah. anime. Yeah. And it's sick. And it's very like, there's a lot of political undertones in the worst directions. Like, like, well, the, not the, always. No, the, but like, my favorite is, is, uh, um, 
what's his name? The, this guy, he's an Italian dude, but he portrays himself as like an Afghan guy. Mohammed Hassan, I think they call him. Oh, what? that that was so old. That shit was yeah, yeah, awful, yeah. bro. No, no, yeah. I, I, I watched like all the old yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. There was, there's like, there's like unreleased ones where I think it was like right after the Charlie Hebdo like terror attack. No. Oh, where yeah. They had, no. Where they had where like he a, shows up or where, yeah. where he literally like, he's his whole character, he's the villain. Right. Okay. His whole character is like, you Americans are so like Islamophobic. And this is like in 2004 or something. So this is like prime, yeah. prime time. Yeah, for he's this. like, you yeah. Americans are so Islamophobic. And like, when you look at it from today's lens, like what he's saying isn't wrong. Oh my yeah. God. Oh what my he's God. saying isn't wrong. And you're like, wait, this guy's the villain. But because he's portrayed as the villain, it's like these two fucking country bumpkins being like, yeah, Mohammed, like we're going to fuck <laughs> you up. So he's an Italian guy portraying himself as an Afghan dude. Can't speak Arabic at all. Right. Okay. And his guy, or Iraqi dude, I think, mm. and his manager is Persian, and his manager actually does speak Farsi, but like these aren't the same, it's not yeah. the same language. <laughs> yeah. so I'm sitting there and watching, I'm like, it's like having a, a Japanese guy and a Korean guy side by side being portrayed as like the villain of World War II. You're like, as like Vietnamese. Yeah, they're both, yeah, they're both yeah. Chinese. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, None of this makes sense. Oh, um, there's crazy storylines all the time. Yeah. There was another one between these two guys called Jack Swagger and Alberto Del Rio. Okay, so there's this term in wrestling called face, which means you're a good guy, and heel, yeah. which means you're the bad sure. guy. Yeah. Okay, and so the entire storyline was Jack Swagger hates Mexicans. Okay. And then, oh, he, <laughs> and then he needs to get the fuck out of the country. Okay, now this would make sense if Jack Swagger was the bad guy. Right. But he was the good yeah, guy. Yeah. And so it's like, what is going but on? There was a border, there was also the border control one mm -hmm. too, where yeah. he's like, yeah. was that I don't know if it was Jack Swagger or it not. It should have been Jack Swagger and uh and was a, Seb Coulter has uh, yeah. Do you remember Coulter. Val Venus and his yes. beef with the with the Yakuza? No. Where they I were Val gonna, Venus. they were gonna cut his penis off because it was too beautiful. <laughs> what, what the, the fuck? fuck? No, no, wrestling is awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's so sick. I digress. The wrestling has a long of shit, history yeah. of kind of rampant drug and steroid abuse though because the performers are pushed to such an extreme yeah and there were all of these smaller productions that were then kind of absorbed by mm. wwf which then became wwe because of the world wildlife foundation didn't want them yep. to have wwf yeah so it became wwe the little panda logo if y'all yeah. remember that uh, yeah um so uh, do y'all believe in separating art from the artist I I think depends. That, listen, depends on yeah, the art. Hundred percent. Because like, there's a been a that's kind of a, a big trend in wrestling is having to separate the art from the artist because so many wrestlers have become a piece of shit. Yes. But you want to remember their work for how it's very but, good. But yeah. I think that what mm. we've seen is not everybody is a piece of shit. Yes. And I think some people. I think now that WWE is changing and AEW's emergence, AEW is amazing. Has shown that there is a, a better world for wrestling. Yeah. There is a more sustainable wrestling product, and hopefully now that Vince McMahon is gone. You know, uh, oh, for now, but full disclosure, this is his second time stepping down. Yeah. So he has stepped down, he stepped up. He ain't coming back. From yeah, this there's, one. yeah, I agree. He ain't coming this back. This one is this. definitely much worse because it's like more graphic, but I mean, it's not his first like sexual assault charge. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? He's, he is a billionaire. Well, yeah. Wait, so this is the second time. Yeah. Oh, not Probably even more the than second time. No, 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 not even the second time. time. Yeah. There's also the wrestlers themselves that have also been caught in like a lot of scandals as well. There was the yeah. whole like, Sexual well, assault on the plane stuff happening. They, they, what the a lot fuck? of wrestlers also have kind of been the unfortunate victim of rampant steroid oh, use. And right? also, sure. and and also CTE. CTE. Yeah, they all have CTE. Oh, yeah. so like Crispin, Crispin, Crispin Law is killed a his entire family. Like, and then oh, himself. yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. There are a lot of wrestlers that have suffered kind of the pains of, of their wrestling career. And that's why it is important that in the power vacuum at WWE and as AEW rises, that they do take better care of the yeah, wrestlers. Yeah. Like, providing health benefits, allowing them to take time off, putting them through the same concussion protocol that you would put a professional athlete through yep. when you put his fucking head through a table. Yep. Yeah, but then you're not going to get, what is it, the cage one, Mankind? Oh, the greatest oh, wrestling yeah. match of all time. Hell so in the sick. Cell. Yeah. Hell in the yeah. Cell, it just diving from that fucking, from the top of the Nick cage. Foley being thrown 25 feet from the top of a metal cage what? to a table. It's so mm -hmm. sick. Dude, one of so his that lungs, shit actually happened. Yes, one of his lungs exploded. Yeah. Uh, four of his teeth got lodged like into his ear and like his like cheek. 25 like, feet. Yeah. 
And like he he continued to wrestle. A lot of people think it's the end of the match. Yeah, that was not the end of the match. He kept going. Same thing. This guy called Cody Rhodes. His uh, his pectoral completely ripped off. Here you go. Oh, that's Here it. Go. This, this is, is legendary. This is considered maybe the greatest. This is moment the moment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mankind yeah, no, well, the for the Undertaker. Oh, it's so cool, dude. My favorite question: Is this fake? <laughs> it's like that's not fake. No, like, you can't fake that. <laughs> yep. That That's is real. So Jesus. high. Oh, and people forget about the second fall. Yeah. Because there's another one that match. He has to go through the top of the cage. Through the cage. Yep. He is fucked up. Wow. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Current Mick Foley and is then, like missing Jesus? an ear and all that shit. And then, and then, Mick Foley might be the greatest wrestler ever, though. He's definitely one of the most dangerous. Yeah. He's just down to fucking whatever. Undertaker now, big like, he's a big Trump guy, I think. Is, is he? he? Uh, yeah. Like, oh, I'm surprised him, they can even talk about politics, to be honest. Totally shit. He, he quit. Oh, first He's of out. all, <laughs> oh, they don't give a shit. I don't think. <laughs> yeah. I, I think, I mean, Vince McMahon was literally, he had Donald Trump. On. The, yeah, yeah, where they shaved his head yeah, or like yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So like, he's... God, Vince McMahon is such a uniquely bad guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he really is. Like, it's not like the Trump... Like, he... Like, obviously, Trump has done a lot of fucked up shit as well, both in his personal life and also as the president of the United States of America. But, like, Vince McMahon is, like, a mini Trump in his own way for the wrestling yeah. world. If it yep. if he, Like, if he ran America, he'd run it way worse than Trump, I think. <laughs> I 100% agree. Oh my I, God. I am just astonished. Because like for me, I just thought all of it was for show. I thought Vince McMahon God, was dude. great. That's Vince no. McMahon's son, by the way. He's yeah. a great showman. Vince yeah, McMahon yeah, is a great is. showman for sure. But he is a real piece of shit, like in the real world. Um, his mistreatment of his, of his employees and rampant sexual assault, everything. I mean, he's, he's a bad guy. I don't, oh, I don't oh, know if we'll come back. It was one of the worst things he's ever done. What's that? This thing that people don't talk about enough. Okay. Okay. So there's a show going on and there was this old wrestler called the Blue Blazer. Sure. Okay. And so what he would do is he was like a, take your vitamins, kids, you know, make sure to drink your milk every day. He was like a superhero to all these kids. Yeah. Okay. Hulk so, Hogan type. Yep. So he goes in every single time by a, uh, uh, what's it called? The grapple? Oh, the, the, the zip gra line. Zip line. Goes in by a zip line. Goes down a zip line. It snaps. Guy falls down 50 feet, hits his head on the railing, dies Instantly. Yeah, oh my God. Okay. What does Vince McMahon do? Okay. He sends the Undertaker out. By the way, fun fact Blue Blazer was Undertaker's best friend. Okay. And so the whole time, Undertaker's like, he's, you know, he's, he's on the fucking head. He's like, what, what's going on with my, what's going on with Blue Blazer? Like, is, is he okay? Is he okay? And Vince McMahon goes, yeah, he's dead. Anyways, we're live in three, two, no. one. And he no continues way. the show and makes Undertaker talk and like carry the show while he's just found out like one of his best friends just died. Oh my God. Because in his words, the show must go on. Dude. Insane. Dude, yeah. Insane. Damn. So it's not it's not for the cameras. He's a bad guy. No, no, he's, <laughs> he is definitely fuck? a very real life bad guy. He, oh my God. Very, he plays a very convincing and very entertaining he does. villain. He yes. does. But he's also like a real piece of shit <laughs> as well. Yeah, his, his feud with Stone Cold oh, like, Steve Austin was insane. Yeah. He, yeah, he's, you know. Right. That is crazy. Right. I had no idea oh, about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I'm fascinated by it. I love American culture. I love hogs in general. Yeah. And this is like, you know, it's it's, it's the greatest. Heaven. Yeah, it, it no, is I mean, it's wrestling. Heaven. Yeah, it is. It. Just like seeing those like placards, like, you know, every time. Austin 316. It's, it's Emmy, awesome. I want an Emmy topic. An Emmy topic? Yep. What do you want? What's what's got your what's grinding your gears, dude? What's grinding my fucking gears? Uh, well, I didn't finish Elden Ring because we all went out, but that's not grinding my gears. It was uh -oh. actually fun going out. Oh, no, no, we had so much fun. Yeah, I put him in a girl cosplay. I saw that. Yeah, it was good. It so looked really good. good. Yeah, and he I was, was a a cat girl. Oh, you were. You so he brought his own you costume. Want cat, do, do we want to talk about the cat girl? I we, do. We, we can pull it up because I think the cat girl did things to my friends. We we talked about this on stream. Yeah. Um, Will <laughs> and I both uh, we were we were not exactly pretty growing up. No. Uh -huh. Okay. We were we were not very attractive men, and we were ne definitely not pretty. No. Right. So. I understand Will's fascination with being perceived as pretty. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> and I knew something about him that I revealed on the stream about how he... The first time I did drag drag, I had sex with a woman. Oh, that's awesome. While I was in drag. How was it? I loved it. Wow. It was one of my favorite sexual experiences of all time. And it's because I felt so pretty. Oh my God. Like I felt... I, I don't know what... It, you know like... You felt like know, you deserved it? 
Yeah, but you ever eat too much and then it's like on a date and you're like, oh, I'm, so, you know, we're supposed to have sex now. And you're like, you feel gross. You feel fat. Mm, yeah. Like, so uh-huh. it's just not good. I felt hot. And so I was like, <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. But like, I feel hot there too. I think this is the moment. This is the moment where you put the yeah. wig on. Yeah. This is so where fun. I was looking at him and I saw the glimmer in his eye. <laughs> oh, I was like, shit. oh, it's so over. He. Yeah. He saw himself on camera when he first put the wig on and he was like, oh my God, I look so good right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. I looked hot. Where's you the part did. where you smile, bro? I was staring at this clip of you this morning. Smile. This is it, this yeah. is it. Do you see that? The right eyes. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, 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 yes. <laughs> That's when he was god. like, oh my god. Eyes, oh my, my god, bro. Yeah. Just flurry, funky Holy fresh. Holy fuck. Oh yeah, it was it's weird. It's, it's weird how pretty you got. It was yeah. weird. I wish I got to do stuff like this more. It's so fun. Yeah. I would do with this with you a lot. <laughs> that's that's good to know. Yes. Okay. Oh, I remember whenever amazing. I dressed up for like mm-hmm. the uh, the chainsaw man thing. Oh, I got, yeah. I, I tweeted this out. I, I got more compliments in like three hours of being a girl than my whole life of being a man. <laughs> yeah. Like it was fucking crazy. Like yeah. everybody was messaging me about this. I'm like, is this what it's like? What the <laughs> fuck? What is this? It was crazy. Mm. No, there's definitely, there's de- I feel like there's some trials and tribulations associated with it afterwards. Yeah, yeah sure it's the, it's the first three minutes that's oh, good. Yep. <laughs> wow. Oh my Almost God. This is so hot there though. Yeah. Good God. You guys are cute. He looks yeah. just like his sister too, man. That shit I cannot is- fucking believe I did this. <laughs> you look good. You, <laughs> yeah. look real. you look real good. Uh, according to 4chan, this was a humiliation ritual that I had to go through in order to be accepted into a higher degree ah. of like a, uh, uh, you know, society. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The humiliation. Yeah, those guys have a lot of good ideas. I, I, <laughs> Wait, okay. I think you've just been branching out recently. Yeah. You're, You're getting yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was good. Jasmine bro. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. It's a lot of work, you know? Like, I don't eat a lot of food. That's that's the only reason I probably don't weigh more, right? I only eat one meal a day, usually. Okay. Chipotle. Is it a big meal? Yeah, it's a, it's Chipotle. Yep. I usually yep. eat Chipotle or something like that, some fast food. That's about it. Are you kind of digging it, though, branching the, out more? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I realized, like, because it was, like, after Classic WoW in, like, 2020, I was like, man, this is just not really going anywhere. Mm. Like, what am I going to do? Am I just (laughs) going to be playing WoW for, like, the next, like, how many years? It's going to take forever. And so, yeah, that's whenever I started doing, like, more, like, fucking React content, commentary shit, Uh et cetera. Because, like, you remember, Hassan, you were starting to stream about that time, too. Yeah. And, like, that was not really as much of a thing back then. No. Yeah. React content was not even remotely a thing. People looked down upon on it like well, people were well, like they still do, still do. Yeah, well, they still do <laughs> but like but there was definitely a wave after and like yeah. i would say post 2020 where everyone started doing well it. that was the norm right? yeah, that it was became just like, the norm you're kind yeah. of in your eat pray love phase right now eat pray love yeah i'll take it okay yeah i mean i'll take it as <laughs> self-care is good man it makes yeah. you feel good yeah I'm it'll chilling. make you feel great it will fuck up your streaming really in my experience mm. i don't know if you will agree with me will sure I'm not asking you tech tone because you're on the degenerate side of things, Uh okay? Uh But the more I take care of myself and the more shit's like going well in the in the meat space, I guess, like my streaming suffers as a well because they can't relate. Well, there's that, but also like like when you're really in the slump, like when you're just really fucked up in the head and you're just doing fucking twelve hour streams, that's when you're locked in. There's some truth to what you're saying. I think. What you are referring to is a real phenomenon I have experienced where you almost train your brain to be alive for those long periods of time. Yeah. And you get on almost like this really fast endorphin loop of yeah. I say something, yep. chat reacts, chat doesn't react, sub, sub, subs. It's almost like playing pachanko or slots for sure. a very <laughs> long period of time yeah. where your brain chemistry it changes. Good. It is like a reward loop. You're it right. Is. It feels and so when good. you step away from that into the meat space, things almost feel like they're moving in slow motion sometimes. And when you gear your brain back to that and then come back to stream, it's kind of, there's kind of a moment of like, (gasps) (laughs) yeah. I mean, there's, there's definitely a balance to it though. Cause like, uh, you know, you get burned out and you don't want to get like past the point where you're so burned now that your output is always negative and you have a hair trigger uh, because then, like, the vibes yeah. become off-putting. Yeah, that's so, why I used to take breaks. It's yeah. like, I could tell, like, 
this is going downhill. Yeah, yeah. Like, so uh, one person says bad take, and you're like, "Fuck you! Yeah. Yeah. You be fucking oh, bad take. Like, What's your fuck address? You yeah. 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 I'll kill you." I did that yeah. literally two days ago. <laughs> yeah, fuck tone. It's just that's when you, that's yeah, when you gotta, like take bad. a couple days off, yeah. you know, dial it back in, which is kind of what I did here in Austin, which was a yeah. wonderful experience yeah. for that reason. Like I got to hang out with a bunch of people, and you know, it was it was a lot of fun, and celebrating our boy here because yeah, I feel like there it is. You know. I'm so stoked, OTK. Man. Yeah. You probably don't know this. A year and a half ago, I put like a who I want to join OTK the most list. You were, at, uh, you were like number one, number two. Okay. It was you and Lord Athelstan for number one, number Ooh, two. Ooh, Athel's yeah. hot. He is. Athel's hot. When was the first time y'all met Will Neff out of curiosity? Because uh, I met at the him. meeting? Yeah. Yeah, the, the meeting. meeting. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, first time I met Will was uh, we did a sponsor together for Elden Ring. It's fucking awesome. We all played as level one uh, new character. We called it Wretch Fest. And we all had to see who could kill mm -hmm. the first boss with like no items, no gear, yeah. no levels. And then uh, I go to a like karaoke Sentinel? club. What's up? Like Tree Sentinel? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, who was, no, it was, it was it Godfrey? Was a, yeah. 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 Godfrey. 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 Oh my God. Yeah. Fuck. It was awesome. It was yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then uh, I met you him the first it. time at a party. You did? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Wow. I had a strat. I worked How out. long did it take? I think I beat it an hour and 15. That's good. Who were we playing with? It was me and you and two other people Noah J and yep. Bruce. Oh, Bruce! Oh, Bruce. Okay. okay, it was one of the greatest clips literally in the history of streaming that no one noticed was the three of us were in a call and mm -hmm. Bruce was doing his own thing. And at one point you go, dude, I bet you in the next five minutes, Bruce comes in this call and goes, what the fuck? <laughs> and I shit you not, three minutes and 30 seconds later, we hear the Discord, boop. And there's a moment of silence. Yeah. And then Bruce goes, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> he had never played. He had never yeah. played the game before. Yeah. And he was like trying to figure it out. It was so funny. Yeah. He's not very intuitive if you don't know what's wow. your, what you're doing. And then uh, the first time I met Will in real life, we were at the karaoke. It was, yeah. it was something for OTK. It was something about where we did karaoke together. Yeah. And some guy comes up behind me and shoves his hand so far up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it oh, wasn't up. Shit. It was a good spank. It no, was but that yeah. shit was a deep, a deep, uh -huh. like, oh, techie, bah! <laughs> oh, man, it was awesome, man. <laughs> <sighs> what about you? What was the first thing you met, Will? I don't remember. It might have been in L.A. for something. Damn. I we, first we, we met and we got to hang out a few times. What the one of the first times I remember is when I tried to come see you at Anime Expo. <gasps> oh yeah. And your security like bounced me hard. <laughs> what? I had a creator badge and yeah. I walked behind and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go say hi to because I someone else told me to go say hi to you. And I was like, oh word. And I was like walking over to go say hi. And they thought because yeah. I was in full cosplay. I was uh, and I was wearing a I body felt so suit. bad. Yeah, I was I was, was Gray uh, Fox from Metal Gear. Oh fuck you. Yeah. But I was oh, wearing a yeah. Zentai. Oh fuck, I wish yeah. so I saw I looked that. like a normal and her security like grabbed me and picked me up and they're like, time Jesus. to go. And I was like, no, I'm a friend. I'm a friend. They're like everybody's a friend, but no. no. yeah, I was working at the Riot Games booth. I was like cosplay. <laughs> playing like Star Guardian. And my, my manager, she talked to her. She was like, do not trust anyone who says anything about her. So I guess Will was yeah. the yeah, unfortunate was, so on the crossfire. Oh, damn. <laughs> Uh, he's like holding the creator back. Yeah, I, I, like, I, didn't know that, I didn't know he stopped by at all until like a day or two later. And I was like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's That's hilarious. So Holy shit. <laughs> uh, are we at? Is you, how much? How long do you guys run for? I got a couple more questions. We usually go about an hour and a half. Oh, perfect. Okay. I, I am curious. I, I got to pee. Then is I, that possible? Yeah, go for it. Sorry, I just, I just uh, I'm back, curious. Back there. I've, been, I've been waiting. It's like okay. it's an hour, and I'm like, damn, I got. Yeah. So I, okay. I think I've I started hearing about you from like Sear and when we did our sponsorship. But I'm curious, yeah. how did you get start streaming? Like, what were your first? Did you ever grind like the one five viewer oh. streams, or were you like yeah. a me like a fucking hit? No, dude. Uh, so it, it's funny. I was because you are one of the best streamers like ever. No, in no. my opinion. In my opinion, that's that's crazy. I I really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I voted I, you just chatting streamer. Yeah. That, that is crazy <laughs> that I got nominated for that. I honestly cannot. Well, okay. So I'll give you the story, and then we can kind of talk about that. Uh, but I was working with Hassan at TYT, like right. I told you guys, mm -hmm. and we had we had worked on a show called The Breakdown that we were really proud of. He started it, and then I helped producing it and filming it and writing it. And that became this giant uh, news program on Facebook. And then Facebook kind of had like this very 
huge controversy about how they were inflating views and Hassan was kind of getting into uh, disagreements with TYT. Mm-hmm. And so I was fired. <laughs> and I you were fired? Straight fired. How'd they tell you that? Damn. You're fired. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I got oh. an email. I got an email. Oh, that's worse. Um, but I, I in LA, it was interesting. I had been kind of adjacent to or party with a lot of very successful ventures that I kind of would miss out on the monetary success of. So one of which was BuzzFeed. I was one of BuzzFeed's first creators. That did very yeah, no, well. No, and awesome. a lot of my peers got really attractive contracts. And when it came from me to get mine, I didn't. That's and I was sucks. Yeah, I was let go after, I think I, it's funny, before I started streaming or doing that, I think I have like over a billion views on BuzzFeed video. Damn. Jeez, a billion? Yeah. So wow. my, like, that is one thing that's really interesting is a lot of people will recognize me from the BuzzFeed stuff and be like, oh my God, you're Will from BuzzFeed. When yeah. I, but they used me like a piece of meat, bro. I was like, uh, you know, straight guys try tampons in their ass for the first time. <laughs> I was like, how do I do this? <laughs> I, I was, they, they referred to me as BuzzFeed Steve-O because I would do anything. Like, oh, yeah. like so, um, but that was my job. And I had missed out on a few of these ventures. I wrote a film that got bought called They Hear It. And then I wasn't included in that for a long and, and nefarious reasons. And then I, uh, um, got uh, to audition for Saturday Night Live, and unfortunately, he did a deep dive on this. They, when 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 you audition and turn over your material, you turn over your IP rights, kind of as well. No shot. So there's a sketch that I wrote and shot and edited with my friend Joe, and they basically stole it, scene for scene, bar for bar. Which one? Oh. Uh, it was the ep- episode where they had the guy who hosts or who uh, wrote Hamilton on. Okay. And it's a sketch about a guy dying. And he's like, he's like, he's like, do you, do you the classic movie trope? Do you have any, like, do you, what do you want me to do? And uh, yeah. uh, don't worry about me. And he's giving his last requests. And his last requests all have to do with the fact that he has like porn hidden around the house. <laughs> yeah. And they're, they're identical. Mine was that they're bank robbers. And the only thing Strand Live changed is that they were World War II veterans. Yeah. Veteran, they're or dying. Dead, they're yeah, dying on the battlefield. So I saw this and that like crushed me that this thing, I, that's all I ever wanted. My fifth year yearbook, it's like, what do you want to do when you grow up? Be uh, the host of Saturday Night Live. So that crushed me. And I'm already pretty prone to melancholy and depression. So I was in a really weird time. And, and then I got fired from TYT. And this is right around the time that he had started streaming. TYT was downsizing. And I had like fought super hard to get Will on. Yep. And everybody already was like, this guy fucking sucks. <laughs> what and, the fuck? and even though I was like, clapping cheeks like so viral yeah. like every week like 30 million views because it was like at the peak of Facebook video yeah. popping yeah, yeah. off and like they'd open up the video uh, view faucet a little bit we did some dope shit we too. did the march for our lives like we went and did that yeah. we did some cool shit we, we did a lot of cool stuff yeah. and obviously you know they were like uh, they have the same principle every company has. Uh, yep. First, uh, for last in, first out. Yeah. So yeah, he was like the last hire. <laughs> right. So they kicked him, and um, it, was, it was not good. So at this point, I was kind of very listless, and I was very beaten down, and I had kind of lived below the poverty level for a very extended period of time in Los Angeles. And um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so I was my my family has a business. Mm. Um, they make honey. Uh, I'm from a farming family. And so I was prepared. I was kind of in my last few months before I was going to go home and be a beekeeper with my cousin. And It is what it is. Yeah, just yeah. live like a, a good, good life. Because my, well, my cousin's honey has been doing very well in the meantime. Michigan Bee Co., plug, best honey in the world. <laughs> um, but I was ready to kind of just, uh, the main thing was that I was ready to abandon entertainment. I just felt like, hey, stars didn't align. You have the talent, but you just, you know, it's a luck business at the end of the day. And he had just started streaming and we got drunk one night and he cornered me and was like, you're going to stream, pussy. Fuck yeah, yeah, dude. And I was like, no, I'm not going to fucking stream. That's stupid. And he's like, no, you're going to stream, bro. He's like, get on Amazon, bitch. And with like my last $2,000, I spent 600 of it on a core power PC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I streamed- With the RGB. With the RGB. (laughs) So dumb. (laughs) And I streamed League of Legends and Mm -hmm. Cuphead for like five months, like 14 viewers. Yeah. And then no, there, was, there, were, there were moments where you would like peak. Like, I mean, I was raiding you every that, night. That was not, 
That was not for like months. How many viewers did you have back then? Uh, when you were writing them? Not a lot. 3,000, 4,000? Like, no, no. It was, I think it was less than that. When we, when we first, like when I first started streaming, I had like, I would do everything I possibly could to like move my audience that I had established from TYT and like Facebook. I always was like thinking about like, how can I make something that is mine? Because I know that like, no matter what I make, these guys are going to fucking take it and they're going to bastardize it, which they did. Right. And it's their IP. <laughs> it's fucking, what can you do? You're working for a company. Um, so I would always try to move people into like other places like Instagram, just to yeah. track like what the real viewership also was like as well. Like your own presence. Yeah. Yeah. And I did that for years and years. And then finally I was like, I'm going to do this Twitch thing so I can like, you know, uh, speak off the cuff. Well, Twitch okay. approached you too, didn't they? No, that was my my agency at the time. I was at uh, WME. That was many years before though. They, uh, they approached me in like 2016, I think, or 2017. Uh, and we're like, we want you to stream on this platform called Twitch. And I was like, are they going to give me money? Because I was broke. And they were like, <laughs> yeah. and they were like, no. So I was like, all right, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> Never thought about it again until the Ninja Drake collab. Yeah. Yep. That was a big thing. That was, was a big thing. Because yeah. like, I was like, damn, this fucking website's popping off. That's when I started. Yeah. But it's not about me. But he was well, good at streaming. I sucked. When I first started streaming, I just fundamentally did not understand it. This is, I, this is why I wanted to describe this back end. Because he is phenomenally talented, as you guys already know. Yep. He's very funny. And more importantly, like this, is, it, this was like a very important uh, establishing factor in our relationship. 10, 12 years prior almost at this point where like he got things like yeah. Will is one of the only people that I had met that was like very bro -y, just like I was but also was insanely nerdy because yeah. yep. we like I had never met another person that was like that deeply invested in like movies, anime, yeah. video games, right? So that Were was you like, like anime? Our, no, not at all. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I do. I, 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 I would have I, never guessed that in a million I, fucking years. See, nobody. Yeah. We're, we're real nerds. Wait, wait, we don't wait. just play this on TV. Wait, what, what are like your top three? My For, top. Yeah. It's all. People, people don't really like it as much because yeah. like it's all. It's like Cowboy Bebop, Samurai yeah. Champloo. Oh, yeah. It's all from the same. It's all from the same guy. Yeah. Kids on the slope. It, uh, what would be my top Space three? Yeah. I guess I guess now One Piece definitely. Okay, the manga. Which is like, have you read the manga or no? Um, I. I read some of the manga, but I went through. I'm uh, watching it on one pace. Fuck yeah, yeah. But yeah, I I was like a 14 viewer, Andy. You can look at my chart for a long time. Yeah, long, and then I started to figure it out. And the other thing I figured out was LSF. I remember the first time I was introduced to LSF, I was like, oh, this generates a lot of traffic. So if you look at my early streams, I was doing insane shit. I got my one. Yeah. My one friend had a mascot costume for a weed dispensary in yeah. LA. There was a giant slice of pizza yeah. that had weed all over it. And whenever I would get gifted subs, I would put on this mascot costume and dance. And Every I, time? I called it <laughs> oh Mr. Pizza Time. And I had yeah. like, I had like club quality smoke machines, lasers. I just, I would do weird, dumb You'd also shit. take a That's shirt, like awesome. you'd rip a shirt yeah. off yeah. for like a specific donut. He was a slut. He was an ethos. He was an e e ethos. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But yeah, I started to game that. And then I just like, I don't know, I, 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 I just kept making more and more stuff. And I think that what really always helped me was appearing in other people's streams. Yeah. Because I, I am a very good, and this is another reason I'm joining OTK, is I'm a, I'm a very good additive. Absolutely. I'm a very good um, aromatic, some people would yeah, call I it. Yeah, like, I dial up the like flavor. Like a force multiplier. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Dial up the flavor of certain things. And I think that's like where I really had a lot of success is like add me to something and I'll, I'll bring value. I'm sorry. But my point was he has always uh, downplayed himself because uh, he's brain broken. Yep. And, um, you know, one of the, one of the most talented people I know, naturally like a theater kid, naturally gifted, naturally talented, but like always getting in his own way. So for many, many years, I had to constantly be like, like bludgeon him into like doing shit so he would <laughs> yeah. actually yeah. like make incredible stuff. Um, and, you know, there were moments throughout streaming, I think, where he was just like, I don't want to do this, man. Man, Hassan, I don't want to <laughs> do this, dude. It just sucks. Nobody appreciates it. And I was like, no, dude, yeah. you got to keep going. Why? Because you were all of those things. And on top of that, very funny, very quick-witted, 
and you had all the nerd shit inside of you. You're like a streaming bomb. <laughs> I have it inside. Yeah. Of yeah. yeah. Well, well, it's th- a perfect mixture. I think I'll say something. I, I know someone listening will will relate to this. First of all, everybody has imposter syndrome these days. Mm-hmm. I think if you have any any amount of success at one point, you've been like, how did I get here? And the days. But um, the other thing I would say is like, for any venture, it's once, once bitten, twice shy. I think when you fail, the feeling of failure is so intense that the next time you have to put yourself out there, you might not do it to the full amount of your ability because then in your mind, you can be like, well, I didn't even really try that hard. Right, yeah. Because if you fail, then you're like, damn, I really went whole ass and I failed. And that is a tough pill to swallow. Yep. But I think that's one thing you learn as you grow up is that failure is inevitable. And if you spend your life trying to avoid failure, you will never succeed. You're, yeah, you're going to fail a lot. <laughs> yes. Failure yeah. and success are on the same equilibrium and one feeds the other. Losing looks a lot like winning until you win. Yes. You know, that's you, it. I think you got to be like a little dumb. <laughs> to, <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, oh, hell yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, like a, I'm like a dumbass in many ways where I was just like, I don't care. Like I, I just, it, it sucked for the longest time. But I was like, I'm still going to keep doing it. like Because yeah. I was so bad on camera when I first started. And, I, and he was so good on camera. And yet <laughs> he still, like, like he just, he, he kept shackling himself for no reason, despite being so naturally talented. And here we are. You know, yeah. you did it on your own. Dang. 100%. Yep. It's hard, man. It is. And like, yeah, it's nuts. Like to see, like, I mean, because like, you know, I remember Hassan whenever you started streaming and then Will, like it's, it's been impressive to see you guys, you know, come up and actually do your own fucking thing. Cause like, you know, Hassan, whenever you were starting, like nobody was doing what you were doing at all. Right. And so like people were shitting on you constantly. Yeah. And then Will, like you kind of do your own thing completely too. And so yeah, people it's like, are like oh, politics on this planet. Yeah. Me, me, yeah. Me, me. Like it's just, you know, look at it now. It's, it Everybody's works. watching the debates yeah. whenever they happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is it. This is it. Yeah. No. Steak and eggs. Steak and eggs. First steak and eggs with uh, OTK Will Neff. Oh, wow. shit. Yeah, That's so right. cool. Oh, shit. That's why I'm there so happy, man. So, cool. yeah. so sick. That's interesting. That's wild. I feel like yeah. it's a really good fit. Yeah. yeah. You I'm guys you guys got a real gem here. You, you stole them from me a little bit, but oh. we'll take care of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah stay. Just mm-hmm. stay away from it. <laughs> Don't let him. Don't let him. Don't let him hang out with Seer too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah, it's right. That's yeah. fucking impossible. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching. We really appreciate it, and I'm pretty sure we'll see you all in the next one. All right, boys. Peace. See ya. assume that this is for you guys um if you were gay if <laughs> if yeah. you were gay what would be your type of man example lumberjack bodybuilder femboy chonky boy okay i thought a lot about this yeah so when i think about being gay i would immediately think oh i want to fuck a femboy because they look like a woman right yeah but that's because you're straight so exactly it's like, yeah so if i was actually gay I probably wouldn't want a femboy. I would probably want somebody who could fuck me just as hard as I'm fucking them, right? Like so, a grizzly bear? Yeah, yeah, like a big, big, big dude. Okay. <laughs> because then <laughs> yeah. gay sex, right? very familiar with it. Yeah. It's probably like normal sex. I don't think I've ever seen gay sex. Well, it, it, I think it's a lot like wrestling. It is like wrestling. Yeah. Matches are better when the each opponent is equal sizes. Right. So I would probably want another six foot seven dude fucking me just as hard as I'm fucking them. And 
Probably bald too. Okay. So if I was gay, I, I don't I don't think I'd really have a type. You know, maybe I'd be attracted to personalities. <laughs> you know, I'd be like, okay, I just want a big strong man to protect me and take care of me. <laughs> there you go. And you know, as long as as long as they're not, you know, like crazy or like really like something wrong with them, then it's okay. Okay. Well What if you were gay? If I were gay, yeah. how do I like if I were Gay like with women, or like if I was a gay man, like no, if you were gay with women. I mean, I I've dated a, a woman, so <laughs> no, 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 no. But you dated, not if. but you weren't okay. But you weren't gay. I was bi. Exactly. So if I were gay, gay. Yeah, pure gay. If I were gay, gay. Yeah. I don't Super know. It'd, it'd probably be the same. I'm I'm not gay. really into like um like butch girls, like masculine looking girls. I like uh, feminine girls, mm, like that girls. So like. Do their makeup. They're like soft looking. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's uh, it. I don't know. 